Welcome to the Everyday Ministry Podcast, where ministers get together to discuss everyday ministry. This is James, and I'm sitting here with Dwayne Atkinson. After trying to say that for three times, I don't know why I kept messing up. But I'll let Dwayne uh, introduce himself real quick. Oh, man. Well, first of all, James, I, I want to appreciate and thank you for uh, allowing me to be on your podcast. Such an honor and a privilege. I really don't take that lightly. But uh, like you said, my name is Dwayne Atkinson, uh, not Daniel, uh, whoever he is. Uh, you must be on James' mind because he says your name like three times in a row. But anyway, uh, I am the host of of the bar podcast and bar stands for biblical and reformed and uh i've been doing that for a little over a year um also i am the husband of one wife uh father of four kids uh live in greenville south carolina and i'm originally from north carolina and i just love god man i love spreading this gospel and love providing people with with resources because one of the things in my life is i always was seeking for answers and once i found you know sound doctrine i wanted to share that with the masses but that's me in a nutshell big man awesome well i actually listened to the podcast of the potluck podcast that you were on today and i want to just me and jr has already talked about this but i have to set you straight too all right okay White barbecue sauce is amazing, <laughs> but not on pork. It is good on chicken. And okay, you gotta, okay. You not on pork. Uh, so I don't know what the other guy was thinking whenever he said something about pork. Yeah. But it's, you got to try it. Uh, but okay. on their defense, I am from Alabama as well. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's still an Alabamian thing. But man, I enjoy your podcast. Uh, for the listeners out there, I, I started listening to the Bar Podcast. Actually, me and Dwayne was talking about it yesterday. Uh, mm-hmm. I started listening to it because of Cody Almanzar that uh, we did the interview with last week. And so it's just kind of funny how it all unfolds and how it all works together and you just get connected with people, man. Yeah. But I'm excited about talking with you about your podcast and uh, and then after that, we want to get into a little bit of ministry and how you serve the church and how you help uh, further the okay. kingdom through the local church. Um, but before we get into that side of things, more in depth in how you started the podcast and um, okay. and kind of what your vision is for the podcast as y'all uh, move forward in it. Gotcha. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, with the podcast, uh, I originally started out uh, probably about five years ago now. Uh, we had a Facebook page called Be Not Deceived, and it was pretty much a discernment page where we would, you know, uh, call out false teachers and, you know, expose. And then we started doing blog talk radio and we were doing the same thing, having like these hardcore uh, conversations. And and uh, we had people call in. We do debates. I mean, it was like real gritty. Right. So I did that, man, and and honestly got burned out um, trying to, you know, keep it fresh and then also trying to muster up an argument every week, you know, used to get tired of that. So I took a break and, um, during that break, you know, God sent me on a journey as far as, uh, just, uh, out of, you know, different, um, I guess, uh, camps or whatever, you know, I started out Baptist and then I was Pentecostal and word of faith and new apostolic reformation. And then, you know, I found, you know, sound doctrine and and I'm, I'm actually Southern Baptist again, I'm back, back home. So, during that journey, uh, you know, podcast became a, a thing that that uh, that helped me in my understanding of sound doctrine and sound teaching, you know, and, and I was starting to hear guys like Hubcast and, and you know, White Horse Inn and, you know, just a lot of really good podcasts that helped my growth. And so I was like, wow, you know, this is what I want podcast where I can have fun, but also give you great content because I learned so much like uh, like I said, I'm in South Carolina, but I travel to North Carolina a lot to see my family. And on those rides, man, I would literally spend all five hours listening to podcasts. You know, I work at night now, so I listen to podcasts. So those uh, podcasts helped me so much. I wanted to bring that to a different audience. You know, I wanted to bring that, you know, I, I, I have felt like I had, you know, a little, little uh, funk about me and a different flavor. But, uh, but also I wanted to have good content. So I wanted to bring that that whole idea of, of providing uh, sound doctrine, sound teaching 
for uh, people that may not hear it or they may hear it here, but they like the way we say it over there, you know. So that was kind of the what started and what birthed uh, the, the, the bar podcast um, and the vision, man, uh, really and truly is we just we just want to spread God's word. We want to inform people. We want people to have resources. We want people to to uh, to to encounter sound doctrine in a conversation because we all know, you know, it's, preachers are awesome. There's nothing like delivering the word of God. I salute hats off to all of those guys uh, that do. But there's sometimes those conversations are the things that stick because it's more relatable. It's more uh, personal. And so, you know, the vision that we cast, man, is just to bring intelligent, fun conversation to your life that will impact you. And uh, my, my little slogan, I'm going to say this and I'm going to shut up, is the bar is nothing you've seen before, but it's exactly what you're looking for. Awesome. Man, there towards the end, you were just telling about the vision of, you know, having those conversations and started this podcast with the two friends of mine because I enjoy having these conversations. These are conversations mm-hmm. that um, that I've, I've had with great friends of mine. And I'm thinking for a long time that a lot of pastors are out there by themselves sometimes and Right. Learning. And so I was hoping that maybe at some point in the life of this podcast, it'll be an encouragement to them. So mm-hmm. before we get any farther in it, tell us about the format. I know y'all release two episodes a week. Uh, so just kind of tell us about that. So the listeners will know, will know what they're getting. Gotcha. Well, every Tuesday we drop a bar. Like one thing that I'm so serious about that people get mad at me about is I am consistent and I am persistent. Um, every Tuesday, you will have a bar episode. Uh, since the month of June, we've tried to drop a Thursday episode, which is more catered to hip hop and, and the musical side. And the vision for that, I expose this to, you, to your audience. The vision for that is eventually they'll have their own podcast and RSS feed. Right now, it's one of my brothers, part of my team. He been we've been ministry together, you know, online ministry together for about five years. And so I'm letting him use the platform to build his audience. So right now you get a double dose of the bar, man. Tuesday for sure. And pretty much uh, until uh, we, we get the break off. Awesome, man. I haven't even got to listen to a lot of your Tuesdays. Just so the audience knows, uh, Dwayne, he is not afraid to ask anybody to be on his podcast. <laughs> Um, no sir <laughs> he had uh recently had mark dever on there and then um who was the guy after him uh man i had costy hen benny hen's nephew uh like i said mark dever uh hb charles um steven lawson uh todd frill joe and jimmy thorn i mean joe, joe and jimmy thorn like they married joe thorn and jimmy fowler um just really he's favored us man uh you know all i do is send emails i don't i don't you know i don't i just ask that's it. that's it man i think that's the biggest thing is just you know hear no and it's funny because like like i'm not in sales for that reason but for some reason with this podcast i'm like you know no fear like hey whatever you know they tell me no uh you know i guilt trip them a little bit i do i'll be honest i do that a little bit on the no response i'm like well you know uh, this is, you know, I have an African-American audience and I hope one day that they want to expand their audience and come over to our side. You know, I throw that in there. I'll just be honest. That's that's my little secret. Sometimes that turns into a yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh, we're so sorry, but maybe next time. But yeah, man. All right. It's, it's just it's all about working hard, man. That's what I do. That's right. And we were talking the other day about how, how much time you put in editing one uh, episode and I felt a little bad after we talked because I put about a tenth of the time <laughs> you put in. But man, tell us about uh, just some difficulties or the hardest thing you've dealt with when starting the podcast and uh, and trying to get it rolling. Right. Well, uh, in the beginning, because we had a slow start, we, we really did. Uh, we had a slow start because, uh, you know, just being transparent, my team didn't see what I saw. Um, I saw, you know, uh, something, you know, building out of this, you know, becoming becoming something, becoming a brand, but they didn't see it. So the hardest part in the beginning was because that, this is prior to any interviews. I was, it was supposed to be just me and my team talking every week, kind of like you, you and your, your brothers do. And yeah. I could never get them on the same schedule. Like, you know, Hey, we're going to record tonight. Oh, I can't, I can't record. I'm going to record. And I'm sitting on the line, listening to the dumb music, you know, wait for them to come in and, and nobody's showing up. So that was the, very hard time you know and 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 i wanted to produce content and i wanted to be consistent but i could not because you know my, i sent a message hey team when can record oh i can do it i can't do it so i went through that man probably about man now to think about it about four or five months of that 
And we, in four or five months, we only released, I think, maybe, <laughs> maybe four podcasts, four or five, which is not even, you know, one a month. And so I went to, uh, I went to a church that, okay, let me rewind. I, I went to Sermon Audio and the, the announcement on Sermon Audio said Stephen Lawson in Greenville, South Carolina. So, you know, I jumped, you know, me and my wife were like, pew, we there. So I get there, you know, to hear Stephen Lawson and right behind me is Todd Freer. I basically, after the service, I said, Todd, you know, this is something that I want to get into. And he was super excited. He was like, oh my goodness. Yes, this is what we need. You know, let me know if I can help you go with it, go with it. So that, that honestly, that's what sparked me saying to the team, hey, y'all, I love y'all, you know, keep holding that page down, doing your thing, but I'm about to build this podcast, you know, with or without you. And so that's what sparked me getting interviewed. So the very first one was Joe and Jimmy, I had already been friends with them, and I got them locked in, boom, it was a great episode. Then Todd, I reached out to Todd, he said, anything I can do, boom, knock me out. And then this little story, within, I hope I'm not talking too much, but within it, man, um, I had an interview with R.C. Sproles Jr. before before everything. Like, well, after the, 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 the Ashley Madison thing, but before the recent stuff. Yeah. And yeah. it was probably the best interview I've ever been a part of. It was an hour and 30 minutes. He was serious. He, he cried thinking about his wife. He cried thinking about his uh, special needs daughter. He and he had I had him laughing. Hour and thirty minutes of my podcast life, and I forgot to hit record. If I was close to a cliff, brother, I probably would have ran off of it. Like I literally lost my mind. I, that was like a, I did not hit record, man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was. Wait. I'm over here listening to you telling me about it. I'm thinking, I never heard that episode. Yes, because it it <laughs> I didn't hit it record, man. <laughs> did not oh, hit man. record. It, man, like it was a blow. Like like, you know, I'm not a depression kind of guy, but if I was, I probably would have went in it, you know. So that happened and so after that, man, um I just, you know, I I just kinda was in the dirt, man, and I just started grinding. Uh Joe Thorne, uh I uh, created my uh, my logo. You know, he's a real influential, real big help. Always checking on me. Uh, Jimmy always checking on me. You know, the mic that I'm talking on right now, Joe Thorne sent me. And they 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 were really influential in the 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 build of the bar, man. And so with all of that backing and what I what I experienced, those things uh, where I am now, where like today is uh, what is it? What's today's date? July what? Tenth. Uh, July yeah, July tenth. And I've already got shows recorded and edited for August. So like that's that's how that's how serious it is to me right now. So that that's pretty much the the humble beginning to the humble I guess midline because you know I, I'm still grinding. I'm still trying to trying to make this thing work. I hear that. That's um our our podcast formats normally twice a month and we did that because we're all three busy and we didn't want to do too much and so one thing i was intentionally in when we started was i recorded two months worth before i at least released the first episode so that was hopefully a good idea <laughs> hopefully i'll stay a, a month ahead throughout the whole time you go. Um, but i won't though because uh i'm actually in the week in the months of this this podcast will drop and it is dropping um in august along with three other podcasts so we're going to do an episode every week in august about podcasters oh nice um, um, that's a dope um, idea it is i, I hope it's going to be beneficial to everybody and uh, maybe it'll help y'all's podcast out some i doubt it though but it's okay <laughs> uh, well tell me about i'm gonna ask you one more question then we'll get on to the ministry side of things um just yeah, what's, yeah, one yeah. The, what's one of the greatest things that you've seen come out of the starting the podcast it can be for you or it could be for the listeners or just um you know what's a blessing that you've seen in it um and i use that word in quotations <laughs> man uh really like just i guess i'll start with the response um the reviews reading reviews uh getting inboxes getting uh instant messages on instagram saying hey man found your podcast i really enjoy it i love it keep up the good work you know stuff like that man really means a lot because for you you know we're we're so we're so fast this america is just fast 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 you know we're we're point click slide stroll you know whatever so for somebody to take time and type out a message and let me know, you know, today enjoy the podcast, that is probably one of the biggest uh, blessings uh, with this, you know, that and, and and just 
saying you love it is awesome but when you say man that podcast or like like uh 80 percent of the listeners that mark devil podcast convicted me <laughs> like i got so many messages about that because uh, i think everybody toes got stepped on at once so that right there man is is, is i ain't gonna say it's the motivation because it's all about glorifying god that's the motivation but that right there definitely puts uh fuel on the fire um, and then also another reward slash blessing is when like I ask somebody, you know, like, hey, you heard this podcast? Like, yeah, man, I, I listen to it. Like, oh wow, oh, you know, like it's a pleasant surprise, you know, when I just ask, ask random people about it and they've heard of it. Um, those are the the small things, man. I'm I'm not trying to build wealth. Um, I'm not trying to merchandise everything. You know, yes, we are selling T-shirts in August. Uh, whenever this drop. You holler at me, I hook you up. But, uh, you know, and that's the T-shirt thing is not about money. is Because, honestly, I'm not getting any money out of T-shirts because you're literally paying for the T-shirt you're buying. You're paying the company and they're shipping it to it. You know, I'm I'm not doing that to make money. But what I want to do is spread the word, man, and, and spread the, you know, kind of like advertisement, man. So, you know, it, it's not about money. It's not about any of that, man. It's just about blessing God's people. And when I can actually... Cause you know, you know, this being a podcaster, you don't know if anybody's listening. So that's they right. hear that. So they, they hear that somebody's actually listening and enjoying. I mean, that's just like, whew, like, man, that at least I know I'm not doing this for nothing. So that that's probably my biggest blessing, brother. Man, that's, that's kind of on my end of it all, man. What gets me through doing it is I enjoy the conversations myself. So if they're only for me, <laughs> man, that's worth it, man. I feel bad for you on that interview with Mark Dever. Man, he, oh man, that was rough. He didn't step on your toes. He stomped on them things. But, uh, <laughs> but man, as we hey, transition, man, it, it was it was good. Uh, I was just gonna say that. Uh, I was gonna say that, that it was funny that uh, that you know it, he did that, but it helped me so much. You know, it was necessary. You know, shout out to Mark Devil for that. That's right. Y'all gonna have to look listen to that episode to understand what we're talking about. Um, but as we transition to the next topic of uh, just how you serve the church, um, there's a question I ask everybody when they come on the podcast is how would you define an everyday minister? Everyday minister to me, well, you know, I think is, you know, I think it's all of us. You know, we all are, are ministers. We all, you know, he commissioned us all to uh, to share the gospel spread the gospel, make disciples. So an everyday minister, man, is you, me, it's everybody in the body, you know, uh, working together to, to get the good news out. You know, I guess that would be my definition. Man, great definition. That's kind of, that's kind of what we talked about, man, when we started it, uh, which good. is funny when I asked this question with me and the two guys that started the podcast, all three of us had different answers. Um, oh, and everybody good. that's been on it since has a different answer. So I love the question. Uh, because it's, it is yeah. that simple, man. It's it's just going out and ministering to wherever God has you. If that's working, you know, uh, picking up trash during the week, working at a restaurant, a pastor, or um, I know you do um, dispatch, you know, you can glorify mm -hmm. God in that, man. Mm -hmm. But I right, well, just tell us a little bit about the church you go to. Uh, tell us the name of it. Give a shout out for your pastor and just tell us how you serve the church there. Gotcha. Yeah, I go to Sacrifice of Praise. Um, it's technically uh, non denominational, but it is definitely a Baptist for sure. Um, my pastor is Andre Wicker. Uh, great, great, great man. Uh, um, my He has blessed my family so much um, because prior to we were at a where, you know, uh, church was first, family was second. Uh, this is the very first uh, pastor that, uh, uh, it, you know, he really, really cares about your family. You know, uh, somebody sick, somebody, I mean, he's on the move. Like, I, I never understand how he get all that energy, but big shout out to him, man. Um, and the way I serve my church currently is sound and video and, and media type stuff. I'm very tech savvy. Um, and I've been, you know, my, my family is, does music my whole family my dad has seven brothers seven sisters and all the whole family make this big mass choir so i've been around music all my life and so i've always been around you know soundboards and guitar amps and things like that so uh i, I help my church on that end i help with the sound um you know like 
like like James said, I'm a dispatcher and I work third shift and I work like a rotating shift. So I'm only off every other Sunday. So that's the capacity that, that I'm able to help in when I can be there. Uh, and then also I also help with the uh, the social media aspect and, and their, their their website, me and my wife. Uh, kind of tag team the website media marketing type stuff uh, help with that as well. But prior to this uh, blessed third shift job is blessed because it's paying the bills. Um, I was uh, a teacher of our youth. We had we had a youth. Well, we have a youth department, and I was one of the teachers uh, for for the youth, uh, especially when we break out with the boys. And um, and because really that's my that's my passion, man. The teens and and the young adult, you know, making sure that they have sound. Uh, doctrine and theology uh, while they're in school because there's so many at all. Uh, like the old folks say, the enemy is after them, the young folks. So <laughs> that that that's the way I serve my church, man. And pretty much anything else that they need, man. Um, and that's the heart of my pastor. Um, I've seen him clean bathrooms. I, I've seen him paint. I've seen him, you know, just do everything that has to be done at the time. I've seen him serve if we're having dinner at the church, you know, so uh, that that kind of work ethic rubs off on the people, man. So, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes, man, to, to glorify God and, and make sure that, that his, his truth is being proclaimed. Awesome, man. Well, I want to ask you uh, kind of a two-folded question. It's first, okay. what would you say to anybody out there, I don't know if anybody's listening, that does this or not, that's a sound guy. Give some support to them. Because sometimes, man, I, I hate it for them. Because uh, when anything messes up, they're getting looked at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, I have to tell you this. Uh, being in that mega church and being in a band and, and helping with some sound there, like you learn a lot of professional grade stuff. So first thing I would tell sound men, especially, you know, in the Baptist scene where most of them are just uh, slide knobs and twisting knives educate yourself youtube is your tool man um find out what those knobs do don't you know don't 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 push it don't push it till it's squealed and then pull it back a little bit no don't don't do that find out you know uh educate yourself i definitely uh encourage that man or find somebody that knows what they're doing and get them to train you uh that helped me big shout out to my brother Chris Crane, man, sound man, has a awesome ear, able to give balance and all of that. All the things that you probably don't even know what I'm talking about if you're listening. Like, what is he even talking about? You know, our I, I soundboard is in the back room, and if it squeals, somebody go back there and turn the knob. No, no, no. See, that's we we got to we got to get the, the system upgraded. But until then, just educate yourself and uh and, and and have thick skin because no matter what, when something happens. First thing people do is turn around and look. So that's right. Operate, operate, operate in the grace of God, and uh, and and educate yourself. All right. Now, so the other side of that question would be: is what would you say um, as a sound guy to pastors or anybody that steps on the stage and uses equipment or or does anything <laughs> in the service? <laughs> I have to be honest here, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be honest. Okay. All right, pastors. I love y'all, man. Love y'all. Well, here, here's something that just came to my mind. First, you know, if you know the skill level that you have behind the board, a perfect mix or perfect sound, if you know that's Deacon Jones that, you know, barely can play a tape recorder, you know, know the skill level and work with that, you know, you know, don't be so hard on, on the guys back there, especially if, they don't, if they're struggling with what they're doing. Um, and, and musicians are the worst. Uh, I love musicians. I am a musician, but, uh, it has to be a level of patience there. Uh, encourage them, you know, uh, let them know. Cause see sound men, like they're like, well, I say sound men are like coaches, you know, uh, in, in this aspect, you know, when a team win, it's the players that won. When the team lose, it's the coach's fault. So when the sound is good, oh, good today, you know, the, the praise team sounded good. The choir sounded good. But if it's the sound is haywire, man, that sound man is horrible. We need a new, you know, so, uh, congratulations later man um give him encouraging words let him know that you appreciate him you know even though he don't know what he's doing you know let him know we, we appreciate you back there serving man and, and and trying to help us out you know because we we never get the accolades unless i mean we never get the accolades but we always get the blame that's right man that's what i would say man just encourage them and i would also say encourage them in front of the congregation uh, oh yeah give, most them, give them a shout out after service is over um man because i've been i've been in times at my church we're a small church and um there's been times where I preach and run the sound some Sundays. Um, and man, oh, yeah. it's a blessing when somebody runs it. So man, that's a g- great, great thing to add to that. 
Um, well, we're going to wind down everything. The way we end uh, every episode is uh, we give a plug of the week. So uh, don't you can't plug your own uh, podcast because I'm going to do that for you. Uh, but right. do you have any plugs for the listeners? <laughs> All right. My plug of the week. Let me think. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Okay. Plug of the week is going to be Baptist Review on Facebook. I encourage you to uh, join that group. Really good guys in there. And there's some guys that aren't so good, but it's good to have them in there to give you balance. So uh, Baptist Review on Facebook. Search it. Search it out. Um, and they have a website as well. And my podcast, which I cannot mention, is on that website. So uh, check out the Baptist Review. Man, I just joined it myself after uh, interviewing Jr. Parks. Um, Good. Because he was telling me about it. So he he recommended it as well. My recommendation uh, is going to be listen to the Bar podcast. Um, great podcast. Um, they're doing some amazing things. Uh, Dwayne's, uh, he's hitting it hard. He's, he's putting a lot into it. Listen to that. Um, and then my other recommendation would be Dwayne mentioned them time and again throughout the podcast is, uh, another great podcast would be doctrine and devotion. Great conversations. Yeah, Apparently some people don't like the banter. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, I, end, I enjoy that aspect of it. And then I got one other recommendation, one other plug I want to give. It's a book by Nine Marks, and I know I'm recommending a lot of Nine Marks stuff right now. Uh, it's called Sound Doctrine, uh, and the little subtitle of the cha- of the book is called How a Church Grows in the Love of Holiness of God. Uh, Bobby Jameson wrote it. Man, it's a great book, um, and if it's one of the smaller books and I'm up by Nine Marks, so you can pick it up and read it in a few days. Uh, just a great, simple book about sound doctrine. But uh, what were you about to say, man? Oh no, I was just going to uh, plug my my website, man. Um, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, di- I, di- I didn't know if you was going to give me that space or not, so I was trying to throw it. Oh in yeah, somewhere. you're going to get it. But in no, uh, just go. Oh, I wait for my mi- I wait for my minute. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. Right. I don't look, I'm so used to hosting, man. I, I don't know how to act, man. My bad. <laughs> oh no you're fine um well before we get all of that i'm gonna give you an opportunity at the very end for that uh is there anything you just want to add or say uh that maybe didn't come up in conversation um man you know i just want to repeat uh, i appreciate you uh having me on and, and uh let me talk to your your listeners uh i appreciate you know the opportunity so 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 humbled um so glad to uh, have met you and and befriended you on facebook um, definitely, definitely a blessing. But, uh, I guess if anything I want to leave with the folks, man, is, uh, you know, work hard, you know, I know you hear that all the time. I know it's cliche, but if you do it, good things will happen for sure. Awesome. Well, go ahead and tell us, uh, how we can, uh, contact you, get up with you, follow the podcast, uh, to tell us every way possible. All right, man. The best way to follow and listen and all of that with the bar is the website, the bar podcast.com. Uh, T H E, uh, B A R P O D C A S T.com. The bar podcast.com. I kind of struggle with that a little bit. I couldn't see it in my head, but there you'll find a uh, link to our Facebook page, link to our Instagram, link to our Twitter, uh, uh, you'll find, uh, our t-shirts, which I think are pretty fly. Uh, you know, so all of that stuff is at the bar com. You'll find me, my bio, my Twitter, uh, all of that at the bar com, man, for sure. Man, I'm hoping to grab one of them shirts after I get paid Friday. Um, uh, man, oh, they, man they, please they, do. they look amazing, man. Um, well, uh, I've enjoyed it, man. I want to just encourage you listeners uh, to look up the bar, the bar podcast, uh, listen to them, uh, listen to their episodes, uh, and listen to all of them. Uh, subscribe. I know you'll enjoy it and he'll appreciate it. This has been the Everyday Ministry Podcast, a podcast where everyday ministers get together to discuss ministry. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you're encouraged by what you hear, please go like our Facebook page, share the episodes, and rate the podcast on iTunes. Don't forget that a new episode drops every first and third Mondays. Our prayer is that these episodes are an encouragement to you and that you would be faithful in the ministry that God has placed you in. Mm